the first girl deepa who got married from our school she came with her husband rigu to meet me today and deepa was telling me my husband cooks very well you know what he cooks he knows to make prawn curry very well chicken curry very well and uh, something something she said all very well he cooks very well and it's very tasty to eat so i in inter i interfered and told her in front of her husband if ragu can cook so well you should also train ragu to cook you he should cook you he should put nice masala into you a nice massage a nice comb a nice bath because even the fish on the chicken also he washes beautifully washes so beautifully and then he cooks you means he must play with you so much and then eating is tasty you must and they were to laughing such should be the way of life not only on eating when you marry you forget after some time and the disconnection comes that is war that gap is called the communication gap but on one side you are cooking but you forget that your body also need the same kind and health is thy name close to god alan anderson goldson glasgow born on 22nd april 1870 in virginia in the united states of america died on 21st november 1945 in virginia was an american novelist won the pulitzer prize for the novel in 1942 a lifelong virginian who published 20 books including seven novels which sold well five reaching best seller list as well as gain critical acclaim glasgow portrait the changing world of the contemporary south differing from the idealistic escapism that characterized southern literature after reconstruction ellen glasgow said the worst thing about war is that so many people enjoy it and the people in the television are creating mass hypnotism on the people as if they are the new saints they are the true messenger of god which is bringing the gospel of truth from the war front making money they are making money enjoying on the dead body the nataraja dance dantava nurtya on the top of the dead bodies on a monkey who calls himself the president of a particular country a joker who couldn't save his people a wife in the house fights with the husband and she goes and complains to the police station that my husband is beating me up and the police station tells her and the police station is who the wife is ukraine and the police station is america and the nato she goes and tells the police station and police inspector tells her you go and fight back with them throw chili powder and to- throw stones at your husband husband beats her into a pulp the husband has got more power and the police refuses to enter the house to arrest the husband because he is telling that is between husband and wife we will not interfere we will give support from outside and the wife is thrown outside of the house and house her things are also thrown into the streets her children are also thrown into the streets and now the police station the nato and america is telling come we will give you refugee status is telling the wife come to my house and work as a maid servant she did not fight to be a maid servant ukraine did not fight to be a maid servant 
that Ukraine president must have been stupid to carry 2.5 million or 3 million of his people to become refugees as maid servants from for the NATO or for American countries, which they have been doing from the last every 10 years, create a war so they get slaves. The worst thing about war is that so many people enjoy it. They're enjoying on this, on, on the destruction of Ukraine. Bombs are falling. They are also asking them to throw bombs back home. They are killing each other. Watching two people fighting and enjoying like a hyena. This is what is happening. Going to that the instant. The worst thing of war is that so many people are enjoying it. Yes. They are able to enjoy because refugees came as if they are going to become Mother Teresa. They are going to get more Nobel Prize. They will give them places. But they don't want place. A girl in the house do not want another man, another place. She wants to be adjusted with the husband to be a nice beautiful house to run. Everybody should contribute to make it that. Instead you are destroying, destroyed a house. And then she becomes a maid servant. Yes. One lady, one lady brought one boy to my school, telling her husband was beating her up. He was very cruel. So Abhi Ashrama gave her a place to stay. It's a destitute home where they keep only single mothers. The boy was put in my school. And after two weeks, the husband who was a real estate agent or something, he came with the car to Abhi Ashrama. And immediately she ran inside inside the car. <laughs> she came to my school to take the son. And Abhay Ashrama, of course, Sarada Pali Madam called me and said, please allow the son to go. I asked the lady, why did you run? She said, my husband, whether he gives me one also, not a problem. This Abhay Ashrama, the still people have not come to even settle my problem. They kept, kept me there and I with other ladies, we are fighting. We are waiting for the micro to bring in uh, ex excess food lying down. Worst food, we are eating the same food, fighting in each other. There's no happiness, no proper place. Better I go back to my husband and try to solve it myself. The worst thing about war is so many people are enjoying. One group of people are selling the television. Look, Putin is going to fart now. Fart now is going to now put a fart. In, uh, sorry, he's going to put a bomb. And from here, the old man, America, he, he doesn't know what he's talking. He's talking nonsense. He's farting. I will fart. But he doesn't know to fart inside Ukraine. He's farting outside Ukraine. Two people. And after the whole country is destroyed, it's destroyed. Nothing is left. Now England is telling, we will give asylum to the president, the joker president of Ukraine. Yes, in our country, it seems. Everybody is enjoying getting their people. Whether you, when you bring, bring. Now they'll divide the country into peace. Now they'll stop the war. Like the cannibals. And they take half. Russia, you take half. America, you take or, or else if they are all joined together to destroy uh, Russia, then they will. They can only have to, time to destroy China. And again, the sun never sets under the British Empire. The white man, the English man, will now control the whole world to make us all shut our mouth and live in utter poverty, which they have done in so many years. That was that enjoyment. Don't get carried by the war. You might be thinking, I am talking so... Now everybody starts shouting at me and throwing things at me. Don't get frightened. I'm trying to tell the truth. America stopped the nonsense. Talk to Russia. Russia stopped the nonsense. Talk to America. After all, uh, Ukrainians are their sisters and mothers. Yes. I don't think if Ukrainian people go, the whole Russian people hug and love and kiss them because they are all one same blood. And same Russian comes to Ukraine, they all want, but not the America, it is far away. The worst thing about war is that so many people enjoy it, don't enjoy it. The same thing comes to you because you are not valuing on anybody's beauty. They are valuing, let us stop the war. To stop the war on war footing, let us tell the whole world to destroy, not Russia, to destroy, not China, to destroy, not Ukraine, to destroy, not NATO, but to destroy all the weapons, including nuclear bombs. So stupid. If Russia press a button, nukes America, America retaliate immediately. And Russia will not, not Russia, the whole world, both will be not there. What kind of stupid worse than animals? 
This is stupidity. Let us pray together. Prayers are powerful. Let the whole world of weapons be dumped into the dustbin of history. Stop making weapons. A ban on weapons for anybody and everybody. Then you can see Ananda, Paramananda. It's beautiful. The worst thing about war is that so many people enjoy it. Stop looking the war news. Then they will not have people to sell, to make money on the dead bodies of the beautiful, good-looking, loving Ukrainians. Wow. Or that people who it is so beautiful. Now they are left in the streets.